Hello, beautiful people, and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe. We are all things notary journey, experience, and education here. My name is Natalie, and I am the owner of NGC Mobile Notary Services, which is located in Tallahassee, Florida. If you are a return watcher or subscriber, thank you and welcome back. Uh, today, in this video form, the uh, title you see, it is titled, Have You Positioned Yourself? I'm going to talk about a recent experience with the signing that I uh, completed and also provide three strategies that I think will help anyone uh, position themselves to be the preferred notary or be contacted for signings by direct signing, signing services going forward. So recently, another notary in my area contacted me regarding a very unique signing that needed to be completed. She couldn't complete it and she thought, she said that I was the first person that she thought of, so she wanted to call to see if I was available. So it was a couple and they were purchasing a home in Jacksonville, Florida. Jacksonville, Florida is about an hour I'm sorry, it's about 150 or two and a half hours east of Tallahassee. So the husband was here in Tallahassee and the wife was in Jacksonville. The title company and the lender wanted the same notary to complete both parts of the signing. So they wanted the notary to complete the husband's side of the signing here in Tallahassee and then drive to the title company in Jacksonville, complete the wife's side of the uh, signing, leave the documents with um, leave the documents with the title company, and then of course, come on back home. So I looked at my calendar and I told her, yeah, I thought I could do it. So she said, okay, I'm gonna give you the settlement agent's name and phone number, which she did, and I contacted the settlement agent and she explained to me the same information that the notary had explained to me the notary couldn't do it for the other notary couldn't do it for a uh, personal reason so she that's why she reached out to me so the settlement agent let me know what they were willing to pay if i was able to complete this looked at my schedule and said you know what i can get this done so she said okay she gave me the wife's phone number she gave me the husband's phone number uh they sent me over the docs so I printed the documents off and I only had to print off one copy because I was going to be taking them with me to the title company and they were going to provide the borrowers a copy uh, of their own via email. So I only had to print one copy, which was good uh, in its sense. So I went and met with the husband, got his side completed, and then I proceeded to drive two and a half hours to Jacksonville. I got the wife's side completed, left the documents with the title company and received my payment in hand before I left the title company that evening. So I was very honored that the notary contacted me and she stated that I was the first person she thought of to see if I was available. So it let me know that I have positioned myself correctly through these last two years in order for her to say, you know what, let me call Natalie. I think she's probably got the availability and I know she'll get the job done if she takes it. So now I'm going to provide three strategies on what I feel, in my opinion, how you as a notary public or signing agent can position yourself so you can become those one of those preferred notaries for signing services or direct signing companies or just other notaries because there are times where guess what I can't even take signings and they'll call me directly and say hey do you know if anybody else or can you recommend someone else to us so all of that is very 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 valuable when making sure that you can position yourself in the right way so the first strategy that I would say that I did to position myself was networking the particular notary that contacted me we network with each other multiple times a week we see each other when we're at the office office 
we see each other in the grocery store we see each other at fedex when we're dropping off packages and we always chit chat with each other to see how each other's business is going how life is going kids husbands all of that information so i made myself available to her i talk to her when we when i have questions about something that i don't understand because she has been in the notary business longer than i have so i'll call her or i text her and or i'll email her and ask her hey what about this or what about that so we network together so she knows hey natalie is in this for the long haul she's in this to make her business successful She's in this in order to make the best out of this that she can. So that first strategy I would tell you to position yourself is to make sure that you network. Network with other notaries. Network with like-minded people. Network with um, people that you don't even know. Notaries that may not be in your area. You know, join a Facebook group. I know sometimes the Facebook groups are more negative than positive, but there are some positive ones out here that can help you and that will help you. So do that. So do that. That will be one of the things that you can do is network. Number two is to make sure that you complete the assignment correctly. Because she knows that I'm, I'm about my business and that I want to be successful and I want to make sure that I do everything correctly, understanding how to complete the assignment correctly based off of instructions that you have been provided is very, very important. As we know, because of some issues that we've had in the business with other notaries or signing agents not completing the assignment correctly, that has led to us receiving multiple sheets of instructions, receiving calls as soon as, as soon or before we get to the sign-in to make sure, hey, are you there? Were you there on time? Or as soon as we're done with the signing, hey, are you gonna be giving us scan backs in the next 30 minutes? Or are you gonna be dropping off the package? Make sure you get a receipt, don't drop it at a drop box. So in making sure that you complete the assignment the correct way is the is another strategy that can put you and set yourself uh, 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 set yourself apart from those other notaries. I don't know if any of you all watch Griff, but I've been watching Griff from the beginning and I love his videos. Griff is very down to earth, but he it, he is an exact and to the point. He tells you exactly what he thinks and he tells you the correct thing. He tells you from how to do, how, from, from the beginning to contacting the signer through the end when you're going and you're going to drop off your package. So I, I am very, very grateful for Griff and me finding his channel in the beginning because he has helped me evolve myself to where I am now. So because the, notary, the, the other notary knew that I knew how to complete my assignments correctly and that I would follow the instructions that I was provided to the T to the letter, that is another reason why she contacted me and that is another strategy on what you can do to position yourself uh, apart from other notaries. The third um, strategy that you can do is answer your phone. She contacted me. She didn't have to call me back. I didn't have to call her back. I answered my phone immediately. I know that some of us can't answer our phones legally split like that. So you may want to leave. Um, I know you may want to leave a message for my voicemail. I have the I, I have on my voicemail to let people know, hey, I'm not available at this time, but if you're calling regarding a notarization, please leave this information and it, I will contact you, I will contact you back as soon as I can. That lets them know that hey, I, I am listening. Even though I'm not on the phone with you right now, I am listening to what you are providing me. I will give you a call back as soon as I can get it get get the availability to. And I will say also, there have been times where someone will call me for a general notary assignment or a direct signing, and they will tell me, you weren't the first person I called, you're not the second person I called, but you are the person that answered their phone, or you are the only person that contacted me back. And that is how I received those signings. So answering your phone is very critical to positioning yourself 
to be set apart from other notaries or other signing agents. And it will help you because if you, um, as you go and position yourself more and more, then it becomes easier and easier for you to get those signings through a signing service or those general notary assignments or those title companies or direct signings. It will position you to where you need to be. So my three strategies are networking, completing the assignment correctly, and answering your phone. Please let me know um, down below, comment if any of you guys have used these strategies or if there's a strategy that you've used to become a preferred notary or set yourself apart from other notaries in your area that I didn't mention. I would like to know because I, I love to see what other notaries are doing because guess what we are here to help each other so I'm providing you information and you're providing me information that may help me to continue going up up and up the ladder to position myself even more so I thank you guys for watching I hope this information was very helpful to you guys please like comment share and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video I got something very exciting for you guys that I've been doing until next time, happy stamping and signing.